I found apps generating serious revenue, hiding in plain sight on the App Store. No, seriously, look at these apps making millions of dollars. How is this even possible? Today, I'm investigating a distribution method growing in popularity while making their developers rich in the process. And it all feels surprisingly familiar. The power of distribution. I wanna take you back to 1996. The fresh smell of leaded petrol fills the streets. The sound of 56 kilobyte modems are chirping to download your MP3s. And your friend comes to you and says, hey, did you know you can make money on the internet? Like real money? And you don't need a degree. All you have to do is just make software. At this stage, you probably look at your beige computer running on turbo mode and think, how? This is when he tells you of the magic of shareware. Shareware was this novel idea at the time. You give away a part of the product for free or like a time limited version of the product. Then to unlock the full experience, the user would have to buy a key. They enter the key into the software and unlock it. We didn't have the app store back then. We didn't even have Google. Instead, we had chat rooms and go back far enough, we had bulletin board systems. Yes. I'm old, get over it. Shareware only worked because it came with a built-in free version. If the user liked it, they could buy it. And if they really liked it, they could literally send a copy of the software to their friend. This was the distribution channel, peer to peer. And it worked so well that companies like ID Software, who created Doom and Quake, went on to become one of the biggest software names in the world, all based on this model. This distribution channel meant that anybody could create software, and if it was good enough, it could basically go viral. Fast forward to today, and I'm seeing a lot of this type of distribution resurface. But we're not calling it shareware. We're not sharing the physical software, and chat rooms are no longer the primary distribution channel. Instead, we're calling them apps, and developers are now making good money distributing their apps through TikTok, YouTube Shorts, and even Reels. If the idea is good, it gets shared around. For five years, I've been building apps targeting only the App Store, only targeting App Store optimization. This is my distribution channel. Get apps ranking well on popular search results. Get a steady stream of downloads every single month. And profit. This generates a nice consistent revenue every single month for my portfolio. But it's nowhere near the apps that are making millions of dollars. They're focusing on something a little bit different. Short form content or user generated content. The key is to go viral. But before you start wasting your time making TikTok videos, these are the elements successful apps need to increase the chances of going viral. The app needs a strong or novel idea and needs to be visually appealing and easily demonstrable in 15 seconds. AI is the perfect playground for presenting new ideas because some of these AI models just look like magic now. We're in a tech bubble and we know what the capability of these models are. But start thinking about the curation of these models, a single use case, and how that can be presented as a consumer app on TikTok or on Reels. The app also needs good branding, or at least a good domain name that people can find and search for. When someone sees your app on TikTok, on Reels, how are they gonna go from viewing your app to downloading your app? It needs to be instantly findable, either via domain name or good positioning in the app store. Chances are, if you get this right, other people be the ones sharing your app and you have less control over the profile that's sharing it. So you can't add a link in bio. It needs to be immediately accessible and available on the video. And create shareable moments within the app. Much like the old shareware days, where users would share a physical copy of the app, 
Now they share an image or a video generated from your app. It needs to be important enough to compel the user to actually share, ideally in a 19 by six aspect ratio, so it fits natively on short form video platforms. Shareable moments are those things that people want to actually tell their friends about. It could be a goal achieved in your app or a novel thing that your app does. My Card Value Scanner app gives you real-time valuation of Pokemon cards. You scan a card, it gives you the price, and you can easily share the price and an image of the card with friends. On the shareable moment, I include the key information of the card. In this case, it's the price and the rarity, and a photo of the card for reference. I always make sure that the app icon is present and there's a domain name on there. This acts as a piece of marketing that gets shared on Facebook to friends, and in this case, it even pops up from time to time in trading card groups for price valuations. And I'm building on this success with a new app that uses the latest Gemini model to remove or replace people from photos. I'm calling it Remove My X. In this app, I've made an entire video sequence that gets shared when you click the share button. This gives the person viewing it the full experience of the app without even downloading it. The idea is to encourage users to share, to leverage their excitement within the app, and to showcase it to others. Whether it's a friend on the other side of a message or thousands of viewers on TikTok. User-generated content. This type of marketing feels elusive and hard to achieve. In my next video, I'll be exploring how to build a viral app. Be sure to subscribe and check that one out. But there is a shortcut to success in this marketing space, and it's pay to play. You can post your own content on these platforms, on TikTok, on Shorts or Reels, and you can boost it with paid advertising. This is nothing new, and I'm not telling you anything you don't know already. It's been around for years. What is new is this world of user-generated content and content rewards. These are services that now let you outsource the entire process, from creating the content, warming up accounts, and posting them. Basically, you're outsourcing that process of getting people to create content for you and market your app for you. I'm running an experiment at the moment with user-generated content and content rewards. I'm paying $5 per thousand views. If you wanna check it out or you wanna be paid to promote my apps, I'll put a link in the description below. For every thousand views you get, this platform will pay you $5. If you've tried user-generated content marketing yourself, or if I've missed something, let me know in the comments below. I've started applying these principles to my apps, and already I've been learning a lot about viral apps. Over the next few weeks, I hope to report on what works and what doesn't. Subscribe to check it out. I'll show you how things are going, the strategies that I'm using, and if you've tried this method yourself, or if I'm missing some important elements, let me know in the comments below.